Hello and good afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome to my live stream. Uh, I've been booting this morning, so I thought I would pop on and um, give you a haul video of what's um, what I picked up today. I was actually selling yesterday, so but I did still get some stuff. <laughs> I kept leaving my mother on the stall and kept going off for a little wander. I didn't get a lot. I think I spent £40 yesterday, but I spent 130 or just over 130 today. Hi, Caroline. Good morning. Uh, good morning, afternoon. It's just afternoon, isn't it? Let me have a look on the phone. Yeah, quarter past 12. So, hi, Jason. Hi, Scooby Shaggy. Um, yeah, so I thought I would come on and do um, a whole video of what I picked up yesterday and today so i'll do what i picked up yesterday which isn't very much at all um and then i'll crack on with what i got today got some really good stuff today considering yesterday um the field was absolutely chocker where i was selling i went back to the same car boot sale today and it was a third full but i've got some good stuff well i think i've got some good stuff anyway um bank holiday mondays around here i don't know what it's like for everybody else bank holiday mondays tend to be quieter than the sunday uh, you would think that that would be the opposite way around but what i think people do is when they're off on a bank holiday think well i'll do a car boot sale on the sunday because i don't have to go to work on a monday so they all go on the sunday and then they can lie in on the monday so that's how i find it so uh Hi Mel, first time commenting. Oh, well, welcome to the uh, live stream. I hope you enjoy it and uh, please like and subscribe if you do for more. And uh, who else is in? Oh, Susan. Hi, Sue. Hi, Deb. Hi, Joan. Uh, yeah, so I'll just get on with it and show you what I've got. It was predominantly shoes that I got yesterday because I was I was worried that my mum was on the stall on her own and um, it, it was quite busy. Um, so I didn't have ch time to rummage through clothes and go through books or anything like that so it was just a matter of scanning the stalls as I was going past and seeing what there was so um hi sail away Caroline my car boot was heaving by 7 30 this morning couldn't stand it anymore by 8 30 so came home wow uh, ours was a bit like that yesterday Caroline it was at, at, we got there at six o'clock to sell and we was nearly at the back of work the, the car, car boot ends sort of thing and um, there were people coming still coming in two hours later trying to find a spot to park to sell the stuff so hi Shelster so um, this was I picked these up uh, on the last walk round I packed my car up and I just thought I'll have a quick run round before I go home these are men's lokes um they don't sell for as much as they use two lokes, but um, they're still a good shoe, good quality shoe, black leather. They've no laces in them, but I'll sort that out. I'll buy a pair of laces for them. It's not a problem. I only paid £2 for these, so they were a good buy for £2. Um, these I picked up from a uh, stall. He said, there's a story behind these, you know, as they do, as they do these sellers. Um he says, these come all the way from America, you can't buy them over here. You can buy anything over here. Do you know what I mean? There's eBay, there's Amazon. You can buy anything you want over here. <laughs> so uh, these are suede high top size nine, I think he said they were. I'm sure I did check. Um, yeah, size UK nine. So he wanted five for them. So I did offer him four, but he wouldn't take four. So but I thought five the suede high tops and the men's, they tend to do okay. So uh, sell me the moths. Uh, if you want to message me, yeah, by all means. I haven't even researched them yet. So um, I haven't got a clue, but I know that they're vintage. So I'll show you those in a minute. I got those yesterday as well. Um, these are... B -b 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 what, one? what are you? What are you? Oh, these are Rohan. These, I'm presuming they're ladies because they're a size 7. Uh, they were four pound. Pilcolinos, which is a Spanish brand, very expensive Spanish brand. They don't, they're not the most flattering of shoes, to be honest with you, but they are good leather shoes and people do like them. Um, good leather soles on them, I think. They're, I think they're leather. Yeah. Size six. Um, paid three pound for those.
Sorry, I'm trying to read the chat as well. I'm sorry about the silences. Um, Crocs, I always pick Crocs up when I see them. Probably overpaid for these. Uh, the, they are my size anyway, so I might keep them. But they're black, so I thought they were £5 new with tags. So uh, there's got to be about seventeen ninety nine probably in them, maybe maybe a little bit less to be honest, maybe about fifteen. Um, but I might keep them because um, I love Crocs. So these I was gobsmacked. These I went were at the end of the car boot when I bought the uh, Lokes. These were still there. Uh, everybody who knows about shoes will know that these are regular choice. She only wanted a fiver for them. No, the only reason I think that they're still they were still there at the end was because of a size three. But she wanted a five or four, and I thought I thought, you know, there are women out there that do have size three feet. So um yeah, they're like a woolen with these big bows at the front, good condition, tiny bit of bobbling. I'm gonna try it with my D bobbler, <laughs> see whether my D bobbler will work on them. Um, but yeah, pretty much this usually wears off when they've been worn a lot, all this pattern. So um they're not too bad. Only been worn a few times, I would think. So, yeah, for five pound, I will pick a regular choice up for five pounds. So, they might sit a while because they are only a size three, but are the nice out of the shell. If they'd have been my size, I would have been tempted to keep them. I'm, I'm nerdy for keeping stuff, though. I am terrible, absolutely terrible. So, and then a pair of sketches, four pounds for those, really good condition. Not the best color in the world, but. Um, I'm sure somebody who's going walking won't mind, but they were uh, size six, sorry. And these, couldn't believe it. These are Ted Baker, and they're really, really good condition. They hardly look, and in fact, they don't even look like they've been worn, to be honest. They do here a little bit, but the heels don't look like they've been worn at all. I guess it says how much, expecting her to say something like £10. £1.50. £1.50 for a pair of Ted Baker shoes. And uh, the leather, these leather red ones. And I thought, they're amazing. I'll have them all day long for £1.50. This I got off a stall at the end as well when I was walking round. She was shouting, everything's free. Just take it away. It's just a boomerang. It's just uh, made in Australia, handmade in Australia boomerang. It was on the floor. I thought that's a bit interesting. Something to research. Something other than clothing and shoes. So I picked it up for free. So, and then this was the first buy of the day, which is uh, also my um, picture that I put on today. These are the Morph bookends. Um, I didn't know what they were when I first saw them. I thought, what the bloody hell is all these, you know, these square bits on the end like? And she said, bookends, they were like that. So they'll look pretty cool. This one has a little bit of a tiny, tiny scuff tiny where the paints come off a tiny you can just see it the little tiny scuff on his head there so but apart from that they're both in really good condition i've given them a wipe over because they were a little bit dusty she said they've been in a loft um 50p each so a pound for those so they were my favorite buy of the day definitely to find those i was made up with them Reseller perks, not having to pay an arm and a leg. Well, I got an absolute bargain today, an absolute steal. Um, and it's something for myself, what I'm keeping. So, in fact, I got two bargains. I got um, a phone for my son, which I'll not show you because, obviously, I'll give it to him. It's his birthday in a couple of weeks. I got him an iPhone 5 for £20. iPhone 5C, sorry. I got that for £20. The woman was really lovely. She gave me a number and everything. She said, everything's fine with it. I'll give you my number if there's any problems. Anyway, I got home, put a SIM card, and it's absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah, he's happy with that. So, so that was everything from yesterday, I think, more or less. There might be the odd bit or two. So I'll get on with showing you what I bought today. I didn't think I would get a lot, but I did. This was from the second car boot I went to. So I was got to the second car boot at quarter to eight because of the first car boot, I was there at half six. No, I wasn't there at half six. I was there at half five, quarter to six. Did you get any cl cruise clothes? No, I didn't. I didn't at all. So I wasn't in the mood for rooting for clothes today. I don't know whether anybody else is like that when you go to car boot sales. 
some days I am in a mood for a good route round and, you know, I'll spend a lot of time. Today, I, I wasn't in that mood. I don't know if it's because it was a bit warm, um, but it was sort of like, I'll just want to have a look on the table, look at the shoes. Um, I wasn't for going through all the rails, couldn't be bothered, but I spied this from a mile away. Kath Kitson. And um, like I say, I got to the second car boot and although it was still early at... Um, at half past eight, I I was surprised that it was still there. Uh, it's a size twelve. It's new with tag. Oops, not even the plaques coming up. Yeah. I said how much you went five pound. I said yeah, I'll have that for five pound all day long. So that was a nice size, a uh, nice find, and it's also a nice size because I, a lot of um, Kath Kitson, I always find the dead tiny sizes. So, yeah, I'm in a different mood every time. Sometimes it seems harder to find anything. Yeah, um, today wasn't too bad at all, really, to be honest with you. Uh, considering there weren't that many sellers, I was quite surprised. Uh, these next three are for me and my mum. This is uh, Elemis um, Soothing Apricot Toner. I swear by this brand. I love it. Love this brand. I use it all the time. So if I can, ever I can see anything at car boot sales, I'll pick it up. She wanted four fifty for it, and she wanted five for this. Um, so she took eight for both. So this is for my mum. This is the cleansing balm. Uh, I'm not a lover of this. I prefer the, the cleansing oil, which comes in a bottle around a bottle like this. Uh, but my mum does like this cleansing balm. So that I paid eight pound for both of those, and I got myself a. Perfect match L'Oreal concealer because as you can tell, I have really, really bad bags under my eyes. And I go through so many concealers trying to find one that works for me. The only one that I found up to now that is good and it's the cheapest one is Collection 2000. It's a really, really good one. So, but I thought I'll give this a try for two pounds, even though I don't wear makeup very, very often. But oops, sorry, the desk. The desk is not very um, robust. Next, we have a Oliver Bonas shirt. She wanted two pounds for this. She, she had all her clothes and she had them all like little tagged up. I bought a few, I think I spent 10 pounds with this lady. I bought another couple of bits. Size 14, thought that was a nice little shirt for two pounds. Uh, three quarter sleeves, so it's ideal for summer or for. I don't know where to put stuff. I've got stuff everywhere here. Um, these are a pair of Nike men's pants. These were three pound, like a uh, cargo pants. So not much I can say about them. Really, three pounds, probably upwards of about between fifteen and twenty. Yeah, it is Petra. It's gorgeous, that dress, isn't it? If you're on about the Kath Kicks and one, yeah, it's lovely. Uh, another thing that I wear a lot of and what I'm desperate for at the moment is uh, OPI, Nail Envy. Um, I struggle with my nails and this seems to be the only thing that strengthens them and helps them. So that was a pound. And then I think I got another one as well. Yeah. This is a slightly different one. I don't know what the difference is with that. Oh, that's matte, and that's the original one. So uh, a pound each for those. This is a light grey striped dress by Hobbs, size 14. I really, really, really like this for myself, but I think it's too flared for me. Don't really suit the flared look. Um, I will try it on, but it was a pound for a Hobbs dress. One pound. One whole British pound. That was a bargain. And then we have, oh, this is, I just picked this up for my son, my eldest son. It's just a Fred Perry t-shirt, um, size medium. He's only small, um, two pound. So he should be happy with that, two pound. So that was the second car boot. Are we still on the, still on the second car boot? 
I picked this bag up because I've never heard of the brand, but it looked really good quality. Um, it's a brand called El Emily and Noah. I have quickly looked this up when I got back home. It doesn't seem to go for like loads. Uh, to be honest, the prices are slightly all over the place, uh, but it's absolutely immaculate condition. It looks like it's uh, for putting a laptop in. It's got like this strap here, so you can put your laptop inside there. Uh, so I'll probably list it as a laptop bag. Um, but yeah, good quality. I'm not sure if it's leather. Don't think it's leather. Um, but yeah, really nice bag. Four pound I paid for that. So I was happy with that. Another bag. This, I just loved it. It's just reminded me of Andrea Hills. <laughs> um, it, it's got a bit of a whiff to it, like a vintage whiff. Yeah, so it probably need a bit of air. I mean, it's like a little basket bag. Um, like a weaved, little brass clasp on it. These look like leather. I'm not sure if they are, but it was pretty clean inside. So... I pay he wanted five um I said three he said he said four so I said go on then for the clasp works and everything on it and I just thought that was quite sweet um for four pound so yeah really really like that I'm running out of places to put stuff um this was off the same lady that I bought the Oliver Bonas shirt this is a Kipling purse um Newby tags. My mum might end up nabbing this off me. Um, she wanted a fiver for it. So I think I think it's genuine. I'll do a bit more research on it. it. It looks genuine enough to me, but I don't know. I shall have to have a closer look. I have got a couple of Kipling purses myself, so I, I'll just compare it with... I've got one exactly like this, but a different colour. So I'll just compare it with the one that I've got. But it looks genuine enough. So, yeah. Uh, five pound paid for that and then something that i don't really do a lot of but um this lady had three pairs of boots little girls boots leather boots clerks in the boxes and she wanted a fiver each for them um and i said would you take 12 she said yep yeah. so we've got these ones so I paid four pounds each for these, and um, it's coming up to winter now, so winter boots should sell very well. So that be an Andrea bag, yeah, it definitely is. As soon as I saw it on car boots, I thought Andrea would definitely buy that. And um, there's these ones. Hi Claire. And then there is these ones. Which I like the first pair, but the brown. So I thought for four pound each, I thought they were okay. They'll do for winter. Sorry, with the bags rustling. I'll just drop something. Sorry. More pencil cases. Um, I loved this one. This is a colour changing one, a Smeagol colour changing pencil case. I just thought that was so cool. She wanted two fifty for that one and two pound for that. She took four for them both. Probably paid too much for them, but this one doesn't look like it's been used. It's still got its little tag on it. So yeah, she had some other Smeagol stuff as well, but she wanted too much for it. She wanted like ten pound for bags and stuff. I'm not quite sure whether. You know, I'm not 100% sure how much everything is in Smeagol. So I know that these, I think they retail for about between 15 and 20. So I don't know. Anyway, £2 each for those. Um, curtains. I got, them, I got more curtains today, but... They're that big and bulky. I've not lifted them because I'm upstairs. I've not brought them upstairs. But I got two sets of Dunelm really like thick chenille curtains, uh, full length, full width, so like 90-90. And I got those for four pound each, but they were used. And then went to another store and the lady had these. 
these are like um they've got like lady and a man print on them i don't know what you call them just says a pair of lined with pencil pleat coordinated curtains for bed set uh, they're a teal standard width, 66 by 54 drop. Um, she wanted £5 each for them. They're both new sealed, both the same size, I think. So, yeah, £10 for two sets of new in packet curtains. Whew. Toil pattern. Oh, is that what you call it? Right, I'll write that down. Then I know. Sorry, a bit shaking as I'm writing. Um, oh God, where am I up to? Right, I've shown you the shoes. I've got so much stuff today. Oh, this was from the first car boot. This is uh, Kath Kitson, and it's a set of four cups and uh, saucers. And they're all different colours, so we've got a pink one, we've got a green one, a yellowy coloured one, and then a blue, a blue coloured one. And they've got matching sauces, I believe, somewhere underneath, I'll have to check that later. Uh, five pound he wanted for those. So I think the retail on them on the box is, is does a I think he's probably bought them in the sale because there's like a sticker over where the price is, but you could just make it out underneath, £36. So, you were a Kath Kitson magnet today. Yeah, they're beautiful, those, aren't they? And do you know what? I would be half tempted to keep them, but I have mugs in my cupboard that I've bought because I like them, and they're still sat in the cupboard and I don't use them, so what is the point? I mean... I'm on a bit of a decluttering thing at the moment. I watched Caroline yesterday. She's still in. I watched your declutter. And after I watched your video, I went and decluttered a cupboard in the kitchen. <laughs> I ripped everything out. And I filled one of the bins outside with all the stuff. So, hi, Andrea. We were just talking about you. I shall show you show you my Andrea bag. This is what I thought, thought of you. When I, picked the, when I saw this, I thought immediately of you. What I picked up today. He said it's 60s, but I'm not sure. So, but yes, that's an Andrea Hills bag. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I don't know on these uh, retailed at 36, so I'll probably ask around about 25. Yes, cath kits and mugs uh, and sauces in the. Oh, yeah, you do like a mug. <laughs> Five pound a pair for these, Andrea, uh, for four mugs and saucers. So made up with those. Right. I'm just trying to find where I am up to. This is my treat of the day, but this is one that not a lot of people might know uh, of. Um, you might do, you might not. People pick skates up all the time, don't they? Um, I skate anyway, so I, I know the different brands, but these, these are called Rydell's, and these are like um, roller derby skates, people who do roller derby, like these kind of skates, they're not the, they're not the top end, but the sort of mediocre, um, now these are actually my size, so I am keeping these, uh, but the receipt is in the box, and the lady paid... Uh, let me have a look. She paid for these £99.95 and, and they are immaculate. They don't even look, they look like they've been worn once, if that. Now these wheels are not the original wheels. These wheels alone retail for about £40. These are the wheels that you get with it. So they were in the box. He's obviously bought some new wheels for it. And uh, not, I mean, they're like immaculate. They've just never, ever been worn. So the wheels and the skates would have cost him £140. And I paid £4. So that's the name. If you ever come across them, they are called Rydell's. And they are worth picking up. 
Um, so if I was to sell them, I would probably put them on with the wheels for around about £60, maybe £65. But I'm going to keep them and see whether I can get on with them. I have tried this skate in the past and haven't got on with it. Um, but that's my treat of the day. Joan Morris, I decluttered a bit too after watching Caroline's declutter vlog. You know what I'm going to do though, me? I've decided I'm going to do like a cupboard or a drawer or something every single day. I'm going to just, I'm not going to overface myself with it. I'm just going to do a drawer or, you know what I mean? Or a, one cupboard every day. And, you know, in a week you'll have done seven things. So just, if it's not been used in six months, it's been binned because it's, I've just got so much stuff. It's unreal. Right, so that's, I think I've got one more bag of stuff to show you, but I don't think there's a lot in it, so. No, nope. <sighs> not much in this. I can't even move in here now, there's that much stuff. Yeah, just a couple more items to show you. Um, I got this, which is a pet pod. Oh, look at that sort of reflecting on the screen but I don't think you can see that but it's this silver bit was reflecting really bad uh, I paid five pounds for this I bought this blind I wasn't 100% sure but I know like cat flaps and stuff like that go really really well um this is by stay well pet safe I'm not quite sure but uh, I did do a quick research after I bought it <laughs> paid five pound and knew they're going for about 40 pound now she did say that this was new it hadn't been used so we'll just have a look and see. And sure enough, it does look like new. So I'm surmising you put the battery or something in here and then you set the timer. And then it just opens when you want to feed your cat. So, yeah. So I'll probably be looking at listing that as new. I will make sure it's working and everything first. And uh, yeah, that was a good buy. And then the last item I've got, got to go through that quite quickly, is this throw. It is by Next. It's a double, double throw. I'm going to see if I can chuck it in the washer because it's got a couple of marks on it. Um, but I paid a fiver for it, so I should get around about 20 for it, so £5 into 20 I'm quite quite happy with that, so you've done well with the cat feeders. Oh, fantastic, I'd never sold them before, but um, there was just something in the back of my mind. Um, I think Mandy, my friend, picked up, um, you know, one of the doors, the flat door flaps once new in a charge shop, and she sold it. No, it wasn't actually. It wasn't a flat. It was a cat toilet. Whatever one of them is. Not one of the, not, not obviously not a litter tray. It was something like, I don't know. It was really bizarre. Um, but she sold it for about 80 quid. So I don't know what it was. It must have been some fancy pants thing. But anyway, yeah. So the, that was in the back of my mind. So when I saw that today, I thought, oh, well, for five pound, I'll just take a risk. So, uh yeah, so that was my haul. Um, I've done quite well, actually. Under 30 minutes for all that stuff. Get in. So I hope you've all had uh, great car boots, and uh, I hope you have a great week on eBay, too. I've had a couple of sales today, so not been too bad. It's not been brilliant, but the sales that I've had have been okay. So uh, I'm semi-okay with all of that. So um, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you want to, hit the bell, all that jazz, and uh, I shall see you in my next video. And thank you very much, everybody, for uh, tuning in, and I shall see you soon. Bye for now, guys.